So we're factoring 9x squared plus 16 over the complex numbers. Now this is a little bit different. You can do this in a different way. You don't have to complete the square and you don't have to um, use the quadratic formula. Although you could, you don't have to. And the reason you don't have to is because you, there's this little trick you can do. You can turn 16 into negative 16 i squared. Because i squared is negative 1. And if you do that, this looks very familiar. Should look very, very familiar. It's a difference of perfect squares. Remember, difference of perfect squares, if I have a squared minus b squared, that factors into a plus b and a minus b. So the trick here is recognizing that you could change that and then changing this into, whoops, not 9. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So 3x plus 4i. You could, you could do it that way which is much simpler and much more to the point. The other way you could have done it, like I said, is you could have used the, quadrat the quadratic formula or completing the square, so let's do that. I'll do that in blue just to show you it's the same answer. The quadratic formula would be negative b, which is 0, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 0, minus 4ac all over 2a. So this zero is gone. So that's just notice that 4, 9, and 16 are all perfect squares, which is nice. Because what happens is this is just plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So 2 times 3 times 4 times i, because I've got the negative in there still, all over 2 times 9. And notice I didn't multiply them together purposefully, because watch what I can do. This is what I always encourage people to do, cancel cancel and there's my answer plus or minus 4i over 3 now you might look at this and say but wait a minute that's not plus or minus 4i over 3 but it is it is because if you if you multiply it by 3 or if you divide if you factor 3 out of this right here you would get 3 times x plus 4 thirds i that's the same thing if you factor a 3 out of this, you'd get 3 times x minus 4 thirds i. And the zeros are the same in either one. So, long story short, that's your answer, and the first way I did it is the best way to do it.